Okay, a quick tutorial on shooting a projectile forward from a character. Uh, right here I have uh, a character. Actually, this is the one I set up for Ragdoll, uh, but he's just going to sit idle. <coughs> We're not going to do anything fancy with animations today. Just something very quick. So, first we need a pr projectile, so let's just create a sphere. We'll scale it down. Um, I find easiest for movement is to put the movement on to this projectile itself. So on the projectile, we'll add a FSM. And we're just going to translate. Use owner space self per second every frame. I'll go 20 on the Z. I will prefab that. Delete it. On your prefabs, uh, you zero things out. This will pre this prevent various issues. Um, so we need logic to fire that, right? Uh, this this FSM is from the rag doll. Don't worry about that. So I'm just going to base it off of. Uh, off of pushing the mouse button, left mouse button, fire. The other thing we need is we need to know what to fire, so we're going to drag our sphere over into our variables. Okay, we fire. We are going to create that sphere. We have to store that sphere. And we're going to give that sphere um, say a life of three seconds. Now, where do we create this thing? So there's numerous ways to do it. Now, depending on what you're doing, you could create an object, something like this, you know, m make sure it's out far enough that it's not going to be interfering with this guy's collider, if that's going to be a thing. Um, I'm just going to go over here and say spawn point this object. And I'm not going to deal anything with the rotations. Just, just that. Right, so I hit the button. He shoots. And if I spin this character, he shoots that way. And I can keep spinning him and he'll shoot. If I point him upwards, he'll shoot upwards. Right? So that's kind of how you fire things forward. Now, if you want to have it a little more accurate, for example, you could take this thing, say, put it on his hand, and zero everything out. So this little object's sitting on his hand. Um, so we're, we're going to use the same logic. But we still want to fire in the forward direction of the player. So I'm actually just going to use a get rotation of the owner, the ear angles, uh, world space, set rotation after the get rotation, but before the create of the object. We're going to set our little spawn point, rotation, your angles, world, and he's now firing from the hand position, going in the same direction as the player, just like that. 
right? So there's a couple different methods. Now, how you fire, when you fire, there's tons of different ways of doing that. Uh, probably one of the most common would be using animation events. You know, like you're gonna I don't play a wand animation and on a certain animation, you want that projectile to fire off. You would most likely want to do an uh, animation event on that. But that's a small tutorial on shooting a projectile forward direction of a character. See you later.